So this happened to someone I know. What? They got what banned from Twitch, the platform. Yeah. For saying that they think it's not fair for trans women to be competing in women's sports. Okay. They got deplatformed. Yeah. And I thought it was so fascinating because I watched the debate where it happened. I watched the debate where it happened. I want you to watch some of the things that the other people who didn't get banned said. The trans athlete shit is gonna do a lot to like foster a lot of really bad will against like trans people in general. I think it's a really good turf argument for, well, look, these people just want to destroy women's spaces. Who gives a fuck if women can't compete at the top level? If they can't do it. <laughs> Sounds completely reasonable to me. And if it eliminates uh, women's spaces from uh, sports and makes it so that, I mean, keep in mind, it'd be eliminating men's spaces from sports as well. And I have absolutely no issue with that. Um, the turfs are completely right. I do want to uh, actually get rid of gendered spaces uh, in the sports arena and that they are 100% right. And I don't base my opinions off of uh, what the most radical turfs, you know, fear that I'm going to do. What the fuck did you say? Honestly, this whole thing was uh, kind of crazy. These people are really sitting up here talking about it's perfectly acceptable to eliminate women's spaces. They know it eliminates women's spaces, and they're for that. Mm -hmm. They're not even like there's a trans trans man that was saying that. I believe mm -hmm. they don't even care. No, they're like, yo, whatever space that females were supposed to have, we don't care. Get rid of them. That's them. And even if trans women, specifically, uh, because they are in like the starting process of their transition or whatever have significant competitive advantages let's say they do in 99 percent of the instances they don't there's plenty of empirical evidence to suggest that they don't but even if they do it does not matter it does not matter because it's not unnatural it's not unnatural to be trans <sighs> it's not unnatural to be trans unless you think it's unnatural to be trans in which case you are transphobic that's it that's the take hormone therapy all this stuff all of it's very natural you know taking uh puberty blockers or, or like like hormone blockers taking all this stuff perfectly natural none of these folks get you get banned well someone says hey this thing is unethical it's not fair it's not right you get banned it's fascinating to watch from the outside looking in because you realize how disconnected the online world is from reality you ask most people in reality they'll be like yeah that's just not right you ask these people who live in like little lefty bubbles and their fucking online platforms on Twitter and some shit like that, and they're going to be convinced that this shit makes sense. There's a reason why most of the public is completely against it. But these people, they live in cuckoo land. They make no sense. It's a, it's a he really said that transitioning is natural. It's not. I'm not saying that this gender dysphoria is not natural. That's not what we talk about. Transitioning is nothing natural. It's like saying that things, taking steroids is natural. It's not. That's want, what trans want, men have want, to do. Wanting, wanting, to be, <laughs> want, want, wanting to be big. I mean, that's, I, I, it's there. It's a feeling that you have. It's, it's there. It's there. Valid as fuck. Real thing. But that's not, na that's not the definition of what natural is. You know, some dude, uh, I think his name is Derek. He does this channel called More Plates, More Dates. Basically talks about like people's cycles, what they use, how they get bigger. He understands the yeah, whole yeah, cycle. Yeah, yeah. So he's breaking this down. Yeah. And he was explaining that Leah Thomas, when she had to transition for like the 12 months beforehand, yeah. the levels that she had to reach for her test levels, okay? Like the milliliters that she had to reach were like six times higher than what the average cis woman has to reach. Mm -hmm. Meaning, even when she meets the threshold that the governing body set up, it literally makes no sense no. because it's still six times higher yeah. than what women have to do. Mm -hmm. And even the testing thing, you know how USADA for UFC is okay. like super strict, they come watch you do the whole process. Mm -hmm. With this one, it's loosey goosey. So you can cheat it super easily. There is very little oversight when it comes to it. He was exploiting the whole thing because he breaks it down. He breaks down the, like the milliliters. So he, he understands the science. And I was just like, nigga, I thought this shit was black by science. It's not. You know how long they have to do the whole, like, um, bringing down their hormone levels? 12 months. That means they trade their entire lives, their teenage puberty, all that stuff. One gender, get all the benefits of the recovery of testosterone, all this stuff, being a male. And then they transitioned. Kept the, they don't have to remove the surgery, meaning their testes are still producing. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And they think this shit's equal. Bah, on est rendu là, quoi. I don't know. It, it, I, I learned some stuff, like in terms of like the actual technical breakdown, that really fascinated me because I was like, it's like that.
This subject is really getting to you. What you mean? Oh, we've been talking about this stuff. To me, to me, it's not even about the whole sports thing. Now it's like about everything else surrounding it. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? And it's like, motherfuckers are getting banned for just saying the truth. Yes. So now it's just like, it's another layer. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Lung capacity is actually mostly related to height. And like Ashley said earlier, is only really important for super high endurance sports. No, hold on. When it comes to lung capacity and bone density, it's not unless you're talking about super endurance uh sports it's never it's never going to be the limiting factor what about point. height what about hey you can have tall women it's what about point. height what about hey height? you can have tall women when i watch these people saying they want to eliminate female spaces they want to um, um they want to um they don't care if they take the spot of somebody if you were 17th well fuck you then because you weren't even good enough to make it the top 16 to make it to the meet so for a trans woman it just fascinates me how quickly like the cause went from being supporting women to fuck women mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like i remember for the last like five six years everything was about women's issues right and like basically like females and then trans women came over and now it's just about trans women exclusively and like female issues don't even matter anymore so basically it comes down to this. If you're for trans right, you're misogynistic. And it always circles back to the same thing. It's like, you're always a transphobe. Always. 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 You're like, always. hey, guys, the science doesn't really back what you guys say. Transphobe. If you question, you're transphobe. transphobe. Like, I was watching what, what, people what? get compared to, like, to like them, them, them Hitler-type dudes mm-hmm. for, for saying some of this stuff. I'm like, really? Yo, like, example. Because, yo... What Will Smith did was wrong. Racist. <laughs> what Chris Rock, what Chris Rock did was wrong. Racist. They're just using the words to shut it all down. Just to shut it down. Mm. And, and you know, with racism, we've been through that, so that's why I'm not phased. Yeah. It's gonna mm. calm down. It'll come around or not. Yeah. I'll I'll link the debate in the in the. In the and the link in the description below so you guys can go watch how crazy it is and how like delusional some of these people are they are just making shit up at one point one of them brings them up they, they go like yeah these are all the someone's like all right well listen if you feel this way we're all the trans men who are killing it since you feel like there's no difference and you guys can why aren't the trans men like competing at this level and then you know she did she, she brings up uh mac Beggs, who's a wrestler mm-hmm. who's competing against um who's competing and winning mm-hmm. so i'm like word cool let me google this it's Mag Beggs is a female, born female, who's transitioning, competing against women, and taking testosterone. Mag Beggs is like 78 and 0. So basically she's taking steroids. Wrap it up. Euless Trinity wrestler Mac Beggs is a champion once again. Today, in a dramatic finish, the transgender athlete defended his state title. It has been a long and controversial road for the senior. As News 8's Matt Howardson shows us, he's now focused on college and closing this chapter for good. When their hands were raised, students who won state wrestling titles were met with thunderous applause. Except for Mac Beggs. I don't care. That ma- that match, I gave him my all that match. You put me in front of anybody, I will wrestle you. Get the fuck out of there! Beggs, a transgender wrestler from Euless Trinity, closed out his high school career Saturday with a second straight state title. In the final seconds of his match, he avoided a possible pinfall to win by decision. And people booed his success. Every time, like I look through comments or people are saying the same thing, they're they're saying steroids. I mean, it just comes down to technique and who has the most heart. Last year, a parent went to court to keep Beggs from wrestling in the female division. If you didn't know, Beggs is transitioning from a girl to a boy and takes testosterone. But it isn't against the rules because it's sanctioned by a doctor. And UIL policy says Beggs must wrestle girls because that's what his birth certificate says he is. It's a controversy Beggs will leave behind when he heads to college. He's hoping to wrestle out of state on a scholarship, and the NCAA will let him compete with men. But he's also dreaming for something bigger. My focus is now to go not just NCAA, but go to the Olympics, train for the Olympics. 
2020 and 2024. Parents told us Beg should have been wrestling boys all along or not wrestling at all. UIL officials have said publicly that they never got an official request from Beggs or his school to wrestle boys. Beggs' family contests it wouldn't have mattered and wants the state to take a fresh look at the rules. I wanted to come out on top and I'm always, I, in my heart, I feel I am a champion. If anything, all this team wants is for students to be honored for what they've done and not judged by who they are. Hey, man, I'm going to just leave you guys on this final note, and then because Preach is already gone. Female spaces have an important place. I think trans women also need to be protected in their own right. But the way that you guys are going about destroying women's spaces, just like, don't give a shit, I think is very, very telling. And I think if females feel some type of way and they really feel strongly, you guys should do it. For us, it's just a video topic. For you guys, it's your space. So I would recommend you guys to get up in arms about it because at the end of the day, me and Preacher are never going to be as emotionally involved. I'm just looking at it on the outside like these motherfuckers is crazy. For you guys, it's a larger issue. So that's all I'm going to say on the topic. Good? Mm -hmm.